Fire, what are you saying? Yes, sir. Your life is good, fam. <laughs> we are here again, Ballhead and the Grid Podcast. Give thanks for everyone tuning in from those times to now. If you get free time, make sure you check out EP from Far Right Disrupting the Status Quo in the description. Also, check out I Never Knew TV. We have so many new reasons that are guaranteed to make you think, ponder, right? <laughs> Figure out what the heck is going on out here. All right, what we're reasoning about today? All right, so this topic now very, 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 very close to my heart, you know, because <laughs> as I you to it, we, can, we, we have so much different personal experiences to, to, to share with this topic, and we're talking about the aspect of role models in our society, in our culture, and how our people tend to choose the wrong role models. And this is really, really a problem, and it's it a negative way, a fake way as a people collectively. Nah, serious thing, that role model thing, it will uh, definitely have you go astray. I do want to say this before we start, right? When we're referring to role models, it's not a race thing, it's a culture thing. And you have subcultures within the black community, within the African community, Caribbean community. So this is not a full generalization of black culture in America. You do have subgroups that have different, uh, they honor different people and have different role models within that subculture. But it seems that in the broader, it seems, but it seems that in the broader culture, the role models tend to be people who engage in activities that are uh, both detrimental to themselves and detrimental to the long-term stability of the community. Those who engage in activities that that are stable, right? I don't know what it is about this attraction to instability. We can jump down the rabbit hole and, and get into it, but uh, people who are, I'll give you an example, right? I'm going to run through the list. Anyone familiar with black culture can relate. Please comment if I'm talking food. Okay, I love comment on other stuff, right? Comment on this. So listen, students who, are ex- students who excel in academics within not all black culture, but the, the, the subculture we're referring to, criticize ostracized right check i was criticized by my peers for having my father for living with my father toxic men who have one woman right listen to this i'm gonna say it out loud men who are committed to one woman in their family are seen as cornballs both by men and women, the same women who complain about not having a man criticize the man who has one, one uh, woman. Toxic. Being financially responsible. I don't have one of the items that you have because I'm not spending all my money. Seen as being corny. Depending on where you live, Farai, the fact that you have a 9 to 5. The fact that you have a regular job from the youth to as you get a little older, you're seen as corny. So the toxic culture, now within all black culture, <laughs> sorry, I just want to be clear. And sometimes we generalize black culture and we need to stop doing that, right? But um, the culture itself leads, I said all that to say that the culture itself leads you, leads many people to have role models that are not beneficial. I'm going to give you one more example, which is very detrimental. The men, I've had a uh, different type of men in my life. I have real men that really guided me to do what's beneficial to me. And then I have men to guide me or not guide me, but uh, encourage me to engage in activities that not beneficial to me, right? Men promoting promiscuity amongst the young men, the whoring, right? giving out this message that you're not a man until you conquer all these women. After you go out there and conquer all these women, none of these men are going to help you with the problems that come after it far right. That's the whole joke. And all the behaviors don't leave to no long-term stability or no growth, but problems for everyone involved. So there was a group of men that all they did was just kind of, all right, I had men take me to strip club when I was a, a, not even a teenager, yeah? grown men you get what i'm saying and there's a culture with the 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 men that show the kids porn too for whatever reason there are two aspects to it 
there's the the one aspect where I guess they figure they're trying to show him something and groom him, and there's the next aspect when they try and turn him out into other activities for that mes molestation and homosexual activity. So it's just it's, it's just a lot of vibes there, and in, 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 in regards to the role models, man, it's just like wowzer. Some people by default they just around cornballs, yo. You know, and he, this and I had to tell students this for all right, the men. Uh, grown men like the uncles, the fathers, the older brothers, the older friends, chilling around smoking with the teenagers. He's their role models, dudes that sit around and smoke all day. Yeah, straight fucks their talk, and they mentioned the instability. Sorry, they mentioned the stability part, and I want to tell you, say, the main reason why the people have a problem with, with, with stability is because clean and straight. Instability, sorry, stability is, is is boring. Stability is boring. It 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 not gear the excitement. The, it not gear the buzz. The so in time you have things where, where we're so stable. So yeah, why why we need that? Why we need that? We don't need that at all. So no, where the where the role model them, the so called role model them come into play is that them have the fun and exciting things them at 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 them fingertips. And because them have the fun and exciting things, them at them fingertips now, it, it just, it, it breed room and give room for instability. And that is a problem. But we're not for we now talk about the, the excitement there for things where go up so much and then it just drop back down. And that's the reason why, 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 why we even have a culture where idolize drug dealers. Because drug dealers, them, they might not live 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 forever they might not depend on the street forever but them have a five year buzz or them have a three year buzz where it bring them way up and them living at the biggest mansion drive the fastest car them and them wear the best clothes them and that is that is nice because instability is there the fuck say this thing they shoot up to the peak so much we not care if it drop back down so at that are the excitement where the people them go because them love the climax type of living where them reach the climax fast and then them kind of drop back down so that are the whole thing and so comes now the instable the in the, 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 the role model them when 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 I have no farmer stability them come into play now and I just said them soup in. And Farah, you brought up a great point. Two, two things I want to talk about how um initially I myself was intrigued by drug dealers, right? And how that changed. But there's this notion that especially with liberal white people in education that black people aren't exposed to certain role models. They are exposed to role models. They just not paying no mind for it. They're there. Don't get it twisted. In every community, you have certain. There's no community that is a street non-progression. And I think they equate low income with non-progression. Like there's no progressive people. They're all no. You have many educated people in there. You have many progressive people within their realm. You have people doing stuff. They just don't pay them no mind. So we need to stop this thing like there's no example. They're, they're just not paying on no mind. They, they, they're groomed to give attention, as you said, to the other people. <sighs> Growing up, yes, I thought drug dealers were cool because they got all the attention, right? They had the cars, they had the girls, they had the respect of everybody. But when I started to learn, I was conflicted within my own self because I was like, am I the only one seeing this? We're actually praising the people that are destroying us. Like, this is backwards. We're literally praising the people who are have destroyed generation upon generation. Because remember, when the the the, uh, the mother or the father is screwed up, the child is screwed up, and there's a high probability that they, their children. Not saying, oh, if your parents are on drugs, you're gonna come out bad. Not saying that, but there's a high probability of you growing up with issues that's gonna affect your children and continue that cycle. So remember, it's not a generation thing. It's a generational thing with a lot of these things, with a lot of these bad habits and drama. But I was confused because everybody was rating certain people all in church. Fire everybody know this man hustling and coming church. There's no, nobody even like chastise him or say nothing. They just embrace him and bring him in and treat him better than the next person. They treat the drug dealer or the criminal better than the man that, that work every day and take care of his family. Criminal can't take care of no family, fire the thing, so top sleep therapy. You know, long-term vibe and that. We know that already. And people love accepting money from criminals too far. They turn the other eye until the pressure come down. Then all of a sudden, it's the issue. We know how that go already. Mothers love accepting drug money yeah, until pressure comes. 
then it's an issue. All of a sudden, it's a moral issue when 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 the, when the pressure when the, when the, when that thing really get to heights now. You know, so there are a lot. I I, I want to say too. I want to say this. They probably not listening, but I want to say a salute to all the men and women who are great examples for me. The kids are just groomed. They were literally groomed by environment and media to praise people that are detrimental to us. You got women praising Cardi B in public. So what is a child supposed to do? Nicki Minaj, you're a grown woman talking about Nicki Minaj. So you're grooming that child to let her know, say, yo, this is the heist. This is what we should look after. And when she, when she replicate those behaviors of Nicki Minaj, where is she going to end up? You know, I'm, you know, I'm overstand, when I come from overstand, youth, you see, youth, youth are some intelligent creatures, you know, you know where youth feed off of? Most youth feed off of two things, right? Them, and them look for a particular role model where have two things, based upon what, what we may see, um, growing up, what we see, in you know, every different aspect of society, right? One, once a person have respect, them tend for feels, them, them, them tend for, um, Cling towards the person that has them role model because them realize say, yo, they be them people have respect. Like for example, me can tell per somebody direct. When time me I grew up, me 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 did have vibes cartel as a role model. Me can't tell anybody that blatantly. Why did I have vibes cartel as a role model, right? Have them as a role model because in the group when me the monks in the street, I've seen in the environment and the surrounding the way them their monks, monks, monks youth where, where, where we know say them youth are gangsta and all of these different things. Them idolize him to a particular level. And every time him come, everybody is at a standstill. People start run round, people start for move round. So I have to say, who is this man? Who is this man? And how come him him command them so much sometimes even without trying? So as a juvenile now, me start put that into perspective and say then. Now the level is the me that want to be pan because me no want to be the person who have to run up and down and I come at a standstill because of this man. Me no want to be the man where when time me come around, people at a standstill for me. So me not idolize say it's not a it's not a world where I'm supposed to inner is a thing where I'm supposed me not supposed to think the way they know. But me just think about this the aspect of the all the respect going you know? on. We not think about it as the negative, not the positive. We only think about the respect. So we mind closed up to just the respect the way I see in our surrounding. And then the next part is that you would start idolize, idolize people who have money. So you see, money and respect, it's like it go hand in hand. So for, like a dice about the Cardi B, the Nicki Minaj and all of these things. Nobody not care about what them do or what them say or how them even or carry themselves. The fuck say people have them as somebody who is successful according to financial standard. That's all that really matter. You would really internalize that. And then I think about the morality aspect of it for you. Because when time people are dealing with role model, you them are dealing with role model in a these day and age. It's just the respect and the money where them say them not them, them the factor in morality. Character. The fact say, exactly for you. And you see the fact say, the fact say, them type of people eh, we, 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 we should be the role model. Them type of people is not always in the forefront or in the spotlight. As they said, a man who, who, who put in him work, and I go home to him family, you see him carry out him, him, him wife and him, and, him, and him daughter or him wife and him son or, or whoever. And him I bring them out and him have a nice thing. You see them I walk past them I smile and I do certain things. That is not in our brain. That not equivalent to we being happy. That not equivalent to we being the, the, the actual person there and have carry out the full the, the, the fulfillment we that we want as human beings. So we turn to the other people them who we say have this respect and the money. But when I realize that there is no morality connected to it and that we not see things behind behind the scenes. So now because we not see things behind the scenes that every time we see them, we see them two factor there, it start get with vision blurry. So then we start look to the wrong thing them. And the last part of my answer now is that when it comes to me see this personally, for like me see this experiences personally. When it comes to 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 to, to in a certain environment. Right, especially a lot of environments that me in as a youth growing up. You see, being a nerd or being a nerd is normally classified as a bad thing, right? When in fact it should be classified as a good thing because we, we society as our culture overall really need more nerds. So you see being a gangster and being being a gangster and being ultra aggressive is the cool thing. See, so when they went down a man say, Oh, you're a nerd. 
it's like you want to crawl back in your shell and them they make it look like say you do something bad. Like for example in my surrounding surrounding where me did that grow up because me go to school where they wanna classify as prestigious and certain things and most of the youth them drop out of school. Now they make it seem like say me I do the wrong thing. And that's the reason why now youth them start turning to the wrong role model then because when them are do good, it almost wants to seem like say them are do the worst thing and then it make them feel like say them automatically by doing good in a certain environment, you automatically seem soft. So that's the thing now where the youth them start spinning now and then them start look up to the ranks of the people them and they start mislead them now so the whole role model thing start get out of control. All right. You see this nerd thing? First of all, anyone cool in high school, elementary school, suffering in life. And any man listening to this right now, woman, know that's the truth. You're too busy being cool. Not saying you can't be social, but I'm talking about the real, real, like the real, real cool ones. You spend all your time being cool and you never develop skills that transfer over to adulthood, right? Because of our toxic culture, and I want to be clear, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. We are groomed, the children are groomed to have these negative role models, idols, right? So it's a culture thing. This nerd thing has destroyed the brilliance of so many people. I've seen this personally being in education, specifically young black boys. They purposely present themselves or dumb down themselves for acceptance of their peers because the peer group does not accept, does not praise academic achievement, intellectual brilliance. Shit. They don't, they, they don't praise speaking proper English. Now, we understand you can jump back and forth for your month of fears, you do your thing, and, but there are certain environments where you have to speak proper English and write in proper English. So by you doing that now and demonstrate that your brain can work, you're a cornball. But we all work for cornballs technically, right? <laughs> that's, that's what's running the world, people who know how to operate and know how to do stuff and have discipline to figure stuff out and actually contribute to society. What's more cooler than that? But, nah, but there's another aspect to it, though, Farai. Right? There's a whole aspect of, and I don't want to spend too much time. I just want to touch it because this is a, a separate reason on its own. But there is a whole, within that culture, we have to acknowledge the uh, lack of understanding self and the, and the confidence. It's a very low confidence culture. And because the confidence is so low, they don't believe they can do stuff. So they default to the thing which they believe is easier and takes less work. It's a shortcut to attention. So a man figures, say, you're going to put in his work with 20 years, you know, kind of be a solid person compared to I can do this thing literally tomorrow and I'll be seen as cool in my toxic environment and I'll take my five minutes of fame and whatever happens after that, I just go about my day. But there is a level of confidence not believing that they can do that thing. And deep in their hearts, a lot of there's a lot of envy uh, for the intellect too. So it's not necessarily uh, fully... Um, just uh, like a, a disdain there's a lot of envy and wishing that they could perform in that or they wish they had the courage to display their intellect how many students have to sit down and ask them they'll write the most brilliant questions so I'm like fire why you just don't say this in front of you nah. but then with, with encouragement in a safe environment and they feel comfortable they'll start to uh, share that information but the information has been there the whole time they themselves want to present themselves as hard and this and that because I guess it's, it's more appealing to their peers and the girls so there's a lot of relearning that needs to be done both for the boys the girls and the adults the adults, the, 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 all right maybe they don't know right I'm gonna give them the benefit of that but for our adults don't know how they set the, the the tone of what's cool and what's not cool and how that trickle down to the kids by what you give attention to your child views that as important right this man Lots. here this man here made honor roll, right? Walk straight home, don't pass it. Say a word. These kids fight. There's a big crowd. F them up. Then they talk about the fight after. So what gets attention? We spoke about this. I've seen this. Listen, I've seen people graduate from school, graduate from masters. All right. If they don't do a party for themselves, nobody not keeping no party for them. And people not showing up like that. If I get locked up right, well, not me personally, God, I have people around me like that, but if I, it's a certain environment and I get locked up, going away, party come like BET Awards, yeah? Then when I come home, 
right? Well, one big celebration to that. So what do we celebrate? The thing is backwards, these sports games, which is very toxic, you sports, we need to do a reason on that. Right? right? And in these same environments, don't know why I kind of, and, and I want to say different cultures now, this is not a generalization of black culture because you have, depending on what part of black culture, and you do have a lot of parents that show up to parents night. But then you have another aspect. Now, nobody shows up to no parents night or report card night. And the child gets suspended, parents don't even show up. <laughs> they don't even want you to call them about that. But if they get into a fight, they'll show up. Or if it's a sporting event, they'll show up. So the thing topsy turvy. Yeah, we could blame the white man, this and that. But at some point, we got to take accountability to the culture that we have and put in work to change our culture. Because the whole, the whole, um, I keep saying like, I, it really is idol worship. That's why it's so in my mind. But the mentors that we have, not good, not good. And I think more parents and more people in the community should be praised more than celebrities. Exactly, Faye. Like, you see, you see, that, that is the whole, and that's the whole concept in a fire. That is the whole summation of the thing in a fire. Because, you see, when I normally, when I normally tell a man them a thing like, like a spot me go, right? Say them not overstand life because them not them not realize so when them dead them not have no come and come back and and the reason why I say that is, I always see and it's a thing where I'm not across all different type of ghettos America Jamaica a lot of different places where youths were involved in a crime dead and them think them are immor them immor try immortalize them by some form of painting painting on a particular wall or or some mural of some kind right. So it's like most youths just try to get in the life there and then we realize because they want to be idolized, not realizing so everybody, what them not realize, everybody where them sit on the wall is dead. So you see, them, but them, the way them overstand is that, oh, yo, I'm walking in the community and I'm dead in the particular space here yeah? and these are the people that are immortalized, but them not realize the dead part of it in the fire. So they take one particular portion of it and say, yo, but me want to be immortalized too. Because and that are, that are the reason why them even getting at the game subconsciously they now realize that because them want the attention that them want the hype that them want the them them want the stripe that them want for feel like say oh people see them as important enough for they can left them mural upon the wall for and left them painting upon the wall so so it's like and when when we walk looking at the community and I said to myself say, but look how much other impact where other people make for you look how much man the boat so come do so much good. I would never, ever, ever see one of them painting on a wall. Why is it that we idolize the gangster culture so much that we decide say these are the people who need to get highlighted, but yet still as they say, whenever I light, I light somebody else from where I do good. The, you know, so the man over there so just become one doctor, him just become such and such. I met the youth, them can say, yo, these are the people them who we supposed to. Have on a pedestal in a way. Not on a pedestal where just praise them constantly. But they are the people who were supposed to highlight for the good things where them do for you. Because there's so much we how we can transform the culture and the thought process of the people. But we're not do it because we we stop on the entertainment is everything. If it's not entertainment tonight, then it's like it's like oh it does steal. It's like it not nothing good for come out tight fire because every single thing have to be surrounded by entertainment. Why is it that we like we whole life is like a circus circus? I will not even overstand it fire. Everything we 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 good, we see it as bad and things are bad, we see it as good. We need to know how to start shape and mold our own mind to fire. Like think about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Your mother and your father are supposed to even be your first role model. But now when we realize that you them look externally for role models and the parents them themselves because some of them probably caught up in the same thing because due to the respect and the finances them caught up in a fit them all own role models so them you look out, outward and then you have some parents actually at work and do the same actual thing them what them supposed to do and I set as a, 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 a part of stability a part of consistency but the youth them just nah overstand say this is the direction we're supposed to look towards and that, that really I mash up the thing for you because so 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 some of the youth them go and, uh, and uh, idolize the wrong role model so some more you would come and idolize the role model and it's like everything just has spin round and 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 then we get highlighted not the media itself to play such a big big role that it start misconstrue the minds them I would not overstand how it misconstrue the minds them and I mess way up psychologically 
but our reality meds and, and listen to what you said. I, I think that's one of the reasons so many people run away from where they grew up because there's no love there. Like the more positive you are and the more progressive you are, the more fight you get. So a person say, why would I stay around here and be exposed to this type of behavior? But I could just go somewhere and just live easy and keep it quiet and not worried about nothing. Right? It's a toxic, listen, man, it's a toxic culture. It's a toxic culture, man. You know, and, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure when it will change it. Everything has the, the possibility of change. Hopefully the next generation will be the ones that kind of move it forward to a more positive, because you have cultures out there that praise different things from this culture. So this is not a universal thing. You have coaches that praise intellect, that praise progress and look down. You're outcasted for being a knucklehead fire. You're not praising the badge of shame for you to get arrested. You were not accepted in that environment when you're not on certain behaviors, when you're not benefiting. You're just not, you don't have no pride in no representation of yourself. You don't care. Far out, I'll be, to this day, I'm a grown man. I'll be ashamed to do certain things that my parents find out, yeah. And I'm a grown man, yeah. You know? There's certain activities I don't want to be a part of because I don't want my. <laughs> but I know, I, I, it's just, I just feel so ashamed and like, yo, it's a certain standard that you have or you should have, at least. You know, I don't want to bring no shame to my family or my name and, and I'm mixed up in certain behaviors. I don't want my daughter to, 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 to be tied to me if I'm engaged in certain behaviors. You know, so far as just, I don't know, but anyone listening, man, just do your best to just kind of shift your attention. Stop stop giving attention to these things that are detrimental and hopefully within your household, you can um, you can set a standard for your kids for what's cool, what's not cool. If uh, any youth around you is doing great works, we ask that you encourage them and build them up. Um, and we we have to change. Like, we have to change within our circle, change how we deal with stuff, and, and that will lead to other behaviors, you know. But the the, the source of the, the I keep saying idols. Idols is stuck in my head, far because it's just really like idol worship in a sense, you know. Um, what's the proper term, far so yeah, I've, not 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 this what it is really though. But but what we say earlier, um, not mentor, mentors, right? No, not mentors. Idol worship. We just leave that there. No, no, that's what it is really. Yeah. Fire. Like it, it, it really. I feel like that that is the more realistic realistic summation of the thing to fire, especially the facts and I mentioned mentors a while ago. I want to I want to tell the people them say. We all are we have a, have, a, have, a, have a social responsibility to mentor some youth. So don't make it look like, oh, it's not my child. It's not my child. So I'm going to really care because this, this concept of everybody just caring about them own, own. Day. And that, that really I mess up the thing too, you know, and I make, and I make the youth them I turn to some wrong role model in a fire. Because realistically, you know, it's not every youth I got have the perfect old soul. It's not every youth I got have the old soul where, 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 where they can get guidance from. So sometimes we have to step up uh, men ensure so we play a role, role for years. If you even see a youth where I do good on the street and say to him, say, youth, you know, I love where you do, you know, continue doing it. Don't stop doing it. Keep the consistency and don't get deterred regardless of what people might say or regardless of if anybody try to jog you the wrong way. Just something simple like that's going to change a youth life and make him look up to even you as a role model. So we need to start coming out of this well, selfish culture we have when we want to bless up the other youth and we only go, oh, my youth is good, so I'm good now. <laughs> Because next thing you know, your youth go to school, I hear youth and the youth in the same class. And guess what now? Your youth start look up to that youth as a role model because them say other oh, youth are probably free. And your youth want to be free in that aspect in term, terms of being. Now if you have no set guidance or no set patterns or no, no schedule. And guess what now? You know your also will get affected, see me. So we have to learn how to motivate and encourage you to. No, a serious thing. We give thanks for everyone tuning in. Give thanks for the word sound. Um, if you get free time, make sure you check us out. I never knew TV.com. Brand new reason. There's enough reasons there. Tell you the truth. This week, they're definitely on ice. Brand new reason from Uderuga, Bounty Killer, uh, Professor Milton Alamadi, Ross Papa from Uganda. I think there's another one for Pop. Enough reasons there. Um, also, check out Far Eyes EP, Disrupting the Status Quo, there in the description. And we give thanks, same way.